everybody. Speaking awesome. of someone that's awesome, bum, ba, da, da. my favorite part about John segments, John Cena segments, is people when you title it, you're like the editor, so you title it. And then people think I said that, and they're like, yeah, Coco, I see you love John Cena. I'm glad you came aboard. And I'm like, I didn't title the video. Nah, you did. <laughs> he titles all of them, folks. All right, well, well, Paul Heyman wasn't enough to spread propaganda. We have John Cena. Uh, John Cena did not want cameras at Make-A-Wish visits. I'm, I'm not doing it to have people say that I'm a great guy, am I? Okay, you are completely fucking doing that. John, if you're strong, independent, look at that. Look at that fucking fatigued. Hey, guys, you ever wonder what it looks like when you get off a cycle and you don't get off it easily? Oh, no, no, no. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, I don't know. I, I just... I think this is horrible. I think it's been horrible. I've been banging this drum forever. And now when he has to go feel real reporters in Hollywood and his Hollywood friends go, yeah, what you're kind of doing is shit. Now he's like, Paul, say something. I'll say something. So he was on it. He's like, I never wanted to. I'm going to say I was a great guy. I am. It, that's what you totally did. A hundred and fucking ten percent. That's what you did. And here's the thing. No, Cena. I think he was just doing good things for people, and the damn press made it all about him. I don't think that at all. Not one yeah, the fucking stupid, bit. stupid press making it all about John Cena when he just wanted to help the kids. Eat yeah, it. I don't believe because even in the, this his... guy, superhero Marine John Cena would never lead us astray. <laughs> no, never, never. He's a great guy. He, my, my favorite thing about Twitch is people always bring up John Cena, so we just make up stories. And here's the fucked up part: some of the stories we make up are more better than the fucking stories he's making up. Um, is he joining Infinity? It, it is no, not yet. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see tomorrow on Coco Sports TV or Twitch TV Coco Sports. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Um, I, I've said this for a while and I just think it's because pro wrestling fans are very corporate and very loving and all that, where now he's going to meet real people and the Hollywood people are fucking strict as fuck and will call you out on your shit. And now he's changing his tune. He's just like, Oh yeah. The stuff Coco says, Holy shit. A lot of reporters are saying that. Let me change that around. Let me be a little bit different. Dude, you just tripled in size. Are you on the John yeah. Cena program? <laughs> For those no, not those which in the audio. The window. Uh, whatever, dude. You're on the John Cena workout program. For those on the audio version, um, in the video, Sid's light just zoomed in on his character, and now he looks like Andre the Giant of Raccoons. Um, I don't know. I've been saying this for years, but here's the thing. No matter what I say, people are going to throw the number. So it doesn't matter what you think. That's what happened. And even in your version of the story, even in Paul Heyman's version of the story, you are not morally strong enough to stand up and do the right thing. You are not morally yeah, strong enough. There were no enough. cameras recording the meeting. What's that? <laughs> yeah, he was. He, he didn't let him have cameras in there. He I'm, met with those kids one on one. Hey, what are you talking about, Raccoon? Hey, hey, okay, let's they just probably focus wrestled on that together. Oh, okay. Everything. So, <laughs> I, you know what? Number big. I'm wrong. <laughs> John Cena, greatest wrestler of all time. No, it's weird. Propaganda does work, though. Like, look how many yeah, people no, say that. Why everybody? At, I mean. Look at Saudi Arabia. They oh, propaganda works Washington perfectly. Like crazy. Yeah. F1, um, golf, WWE. Listen, John, I know, you know, not everyone knows, but the Hollywood media is a lot tougher than the wrestling media. You're a piece of shit. Just turn around now. It's not too late to be a genuine person. It is not too late to be a genuine person. John? John? Never give up. <laughs> Hustle, also, John, loyal, respect. Become remember, the fucking cartoon character you pretended to be while hiding behind big number good. Go ahead. Fuck everything Dave said and remember, 
you could always reveal the size of Dave Batista's penis to the press. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, we always love this guy. The wrestling media would all be all over it. I don't know. It, it's weird because he's like, I, John Cena, though, I do notice this. John Cena hates the person he was. This interview literally hates who he was. The time he said, he's oh, a piece of shit. And, and on top of that, he also hates because like he in his promos, he's insulting the young guys, but he's also insulting who he was. Like when he's like, oh, I've never been so pathetic. I can imagine if they piped in crowd noise. John, they did. Why do you hate yourself, John? You can't never see me. Crowd noise for John does, Cena. does you can't see me? You looked into a fucking mirror and realized you're a piece of shit. Big the number good. Big time. number good. Do you, and here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this point home as I always do. I know I bust John Cena's balls a lot. Here's the thing. Do something good. Don't record it. Second off, do you know why big number good? Do you know why big number good make me feel good? Because your number is so small. The only reason celebrities doing good stuff makes you rub your nipples is because you don't do good things. I do good Never things. Do you record it? I have it? a therapist. She says I do good things. <laughs> She's like, I, I do good things, honest. I, I, I got to see I gotta see footage. I got to see numbers. <laughs> I'll get Paul Heyman on it. Here's the thing. John Cena was the definition of recording yourself while feeding homeless people. And don't believe me? Listen to what Stephanie McMahon said. Follow the money. What? Big number good? I got to say it one more time. Sick kids ain't props. Dun, 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 dun. Sick kids ain't props. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Big number. Feel good. Um, John, I just hope now that you are more natural. Um, you are always natural. But now that you're more natural, now that you're in Hollywood. It's always been natural. This is called natural aging. Of course, of course. I, there is a clip where I literally His said what was going to happen. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. That's the natural part of aging. Everyone good, knows good, good, male goodness. pattern baldness easily reversible. Yeah, Google, Google, Google search what happens when you don't get off a cycle cleanly. It'll just be a picture of John. <laughs> Please stop bullying the, the steroids, man. I'm sorry. St steroids bad, big number good. Um, Is there anything you want to add? Because I feel like you brought this up so no. I could yell at this guy. You brought this up. I did not. This was your story, you son of a bitch. We have it recorded. You're going to be uploading this. I'm going to put it on more sites. There's going to be like 15 instances of you starting this topic Listen, on if here. John Cena, if John Cena... If John Cena could say he didn't want cameras, I could pull a John Cena and say I didn't no. want this segment. No, oh, no, no, I did show. not want I, this I segment. I never picked this oh, I Let's ask I Paul Heyman. Paul. Segment. I'm going to record Paul, the pre-show next Paul. time so that I can use it as proof to prove that you're a liar. Paul, I need your help right now, okay? If you can go on any podcast and say that I – okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yep, big number good. I'm a good person, right? Thank I you. saved a kid from drowning when I was a little kid. Thus, uh, I have saved more kids than you. I Okay, first off, are you talking to me or are you talking to John? To you? <laughs> this Thus, is, I'm oh, superior. we just fell in full John Cena. Let's do our resumes. There was this one time. <laughs> We've gone full John Cena. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Read your resume of stuff you did good. I, w I once gave a kid, I had two lollipops, and I gave one of the kids my own lollipop. And be like, yeah, but you have three kids, and they were your own kids. Ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> Listen, I never saluted an officer in a war zone. I did good things. That's true. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Oh, I, for those that don't know, me and Sid served in the military infantry. Um, John was there. He'll tell you. Uh, yeah, he was a Marine. 
He actually he got, the, he got the Medal of Honor. We're fucking bums. You're fucking loser. He invented the Raptor Man game. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, why Dave hates him so much, because he always won against Dave. And then he'd press his naked, sweaty body on Dave. It's like, and be like, no. I got you. Rawr. No. Um, <laughs> get off topic. But anyway, there used to be this this game that you played. It was a very dangerous game. So there's these things called snipers. One shot, one kill. Look it up, kids. And <laughs> that even got bare to Did friends just laugh about <laughs> snipers? I think God so. Damn. And uh, snipers, they wanted to take out your chain of command. They wanted to take out the top guys. So you weren't allowed to, in, in combat zones or war zones or whatever the lingo was, you weren't supposed to salute officers. But to be a complete fucking dick, people would just salute officers or their friends. <laughs> it was like trying to get them killed. You're like, hey, how you doing, Sid? Salute to you, buddy. <laughs> Mostly friends. Here's the thing. Here's Mostly the Mostly friends. By a do, big do you margin. think I right, we got we, we got we are some sick fucks over here, okay? Do you think anyone ever been shot by a fake salute? Like, I, uh, I, I salute you, Jimmy. Terrible. And like, that guy's like, no. I, I would feel awful if I saluted my body and then got popped. <laughs> I hope it's never happened. I hope it never happened either. But you know what? This is not a true story, just like John Cena not wanting the cameras there. I once did it to a guy named Jimbo. I saluted Jimbo, and it, all we heard was this... And, and John Cena and, and, and John Cena jumped in and took a bolt to the chest and it bounced off. Dun 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 dun. But you know, I we were gonna give him the Medal of Honor, but you know, he said, "Don't worry, an old Dimension Man gave it to me." I still miss that segment. I still miss that segment. It's my favorite segment of all time. I should we should we offer a cash reward to find the segment? There's a segment on Monday like, Night Raw. Would have found it by now. There's there's a segment on Monday Night Raw. Me and Sid pre, uh, reviewed it, and we laughed for about an hour. John Cena was talking about how he got the Medal of Honor from a military guy, and it got so much backlash that I, I think it's edited out. So if anyone could find the day John Cena got the Medal of Honor, I, I would fucking pay you top dollar. Top dollar. <laughs> it was special, but it was... It's almost like the Berenstein Bears thing now, where I feel like no one else saw it except us. I know. All right. Pop quiz. Did anyone see John Cena, the episode of Raw, where he said he got the Medal of Honor? Because it really backfired. Like, everyone was pissed. And they're like, all right, let's just drop this storyline. <laughs> I think there was a guy in the hospital, and he's like, what you do is so brave or something like that. And he's like, I respect you and thank you for everything you do. And then gave him it. Uh, he got issued that in a war zone. Oh my god. Oh, he definitely did. After saving Next topic. After saving Jimbo. Alright, let's well, let's salute John Cena. Hopefully he's not in a war zone. And let's let's go to the next topic. Um, salute. My hands don't work. 